Now we take a closer look at loneliness, romance, and secrets. The story of Manti Teo, the football star whose girlfriend never really existed, points to something new in our changing world. Not just a little deception, but a cruel and humiliating charade made possible by the digital age. And ABC's Dan Harris has more on the latest discrepancies between the dream of romance and reality. Dan. It's a fascinating story, Diane. Good evening to you. There are some reports that the girl who apparently so enraptured Manti Teo was not a girl at all, but instead a young man. There are still a lot of open questions about this case, of course. But what we do know is that romantic deception in the age of the Internet is rampant. You fell in love with a blonde named Abby, but it was really yeah, this girl. Pretty much all of it was, you know, me, just not me. A muscle man named Scorpio turned out to be this guy. I'm not sure what I was thinking. And the chiseled jaw of Jameson King grabbed the heart of a girl named Sunny. We'll show you how that turned out in a moment. With so many of us living and loving on the internet, a seething sea of the unverifiable, there is infinite room for deception. It's called being a catfish. The word comes from a 2010 documentary about Neve Shulman, a well-to-do, private school educated photographer from New York City, who for months thought he'd found the love of his life online, until he learned Megan was actually Angela. I'm gonna see pain in your eyes, this thing, can you talk with this? Angela had a couple of cell phones so that Yaniv would get calls from different people. And sometimes that's all it takes to believe in the whole world. Rel Shulman is Neve's older brother. He directed the movie, which has now become an MTV show. The internet gives us all these new tools for right. deception, but at the root of it is the same thing. Yeah, and I, I think at the root of that, and it's been the same for centuries, um, is uh, just sort of loneliness and a need to connect. Rel and his brother have been watching the Manti Teo case with keen interest. Today, it's being reported that Teo's fake girlfriend, Lene, was texting and calling him before every game and was even in touch with his friends, family, and teammates. Many catfish are serial offenders, as was the case with Jameson King. Uh, we were looking for Jameson. Oh, no. So, is he here? It's me. What? Who, as Sonny learned, was actually this woman who, the show says, had a series of victims over four years. As for Manti Teo, aside from the statement he issued two days ago, we have not heard from him. A source at Notre Dame tells ABC News today they want Teo to speak out publicly, but that the ball is in his court, Diane. Everyone waiting. Thank you, Indeed. Dan.